My name is Lara Weiner. I am an activist, a student, a friend, and a sophomore at Council Rock High School South. What is happening in this country right now is not only disgusting, but quite frankly disgraceful. 17 people were killed. What was the reasoning for this? In all honesty, there is no valid reason that I am willing to accept. 17 families are in their home right now mourning the unnecessary loss of their family members. Jamie Guttenberg was one of the 17 victims. I knew her personally. We went to camp together. She was one of the campers that would fly up and spend the summer here. She was 14. 14! She was a dancer, friend, classmate, daughter, sister. The list goes on and on and on. This is not okay. Jamie's classmates are never going to be the people that they were before this happened. The whole school, as a matter of fact, the whole country will never be the same. You never know where those 17 people could have been going in life. I, along with many other people, are now living with more anxiety. That town had just been announced safest town in Florida. What does that say about this country if that was considered the safest town? I found myself sitting in Spanish class the other day when I suddenly gasped for air. I was scared and I didn't understand why. Then I thought, I live in a safe town, what can go wrong? Parkland was a safe town. What even makes a town safe? Anything can happen. Throughout the rest of the day, I found myself again being very untrustworthy of the people around me. These are my classmates, my friends, and yet I am still very hesitant and anxious around them. One of my teachers brought up a very valid point. People claim that teenagers are unimportant because we were only kids, need to face reality. At the age of 17, you are not considered an adult, yet you can turn 18 the next day and go buy yourself a gun. That's a broken logic in a very broken system. Emma Gonzalez spoke to lawmakers and gun advocates as well as a very large crowd about her opinions on gun safety. I watched this video and was infuriated. Not by what she said, but by the reality that this is our country. I will say again, the system is broken and needs to be fixed. We are getting to a point, the worst thing we could possibly be doing is doing nothing. Whether you are a teen, adult, or child, it doesn't mean that your voice cannot be heard. I remember Sandy Hook. I was only in fifth grade and I wanted to do something to provoke change. As time passed, the urge to do something faded. It did not hit home, but this did. Had I not known Jamie, I don't know if I would have had the courage to voice my opinion. I've always had very strong opinions. I feel no shame in my opinions and beliefs nor will I ever let my age hold me back. As I wrote this, I realized that the phrase, that's all I can do, is the most ridiculous grouping of words to exist. You have never done all you can do until students do not feel anxious or stressed to go to school. No student should feel threatened, scared, or anxious in a school environment. Jamie woke up that morning thinking it would be a normal day. It was Valentine's Day. She most likely had homework the night before and stayed up way too late on her phone. She probably had a test that she was studying for all week. She was a dancer. She might have had dance the night before or later that day. She was like, she was like any typical teenager. She probably had a crush on that really cute guy. She had lots of friends from all over the place. The day of love quickly turned into a day of hatred for Jamie's family and all of Park Parkland. To the adults that have thought this past in the past that teenagers' opinions don't matter have clearly not met someone of my generation. We have all grown up in a society where the only way to get our opinions out there is to make our voice heard. We are like football players pushing through others to get what we desire. It is just what we have to do if we plan on getting anything done. Unfortunately, I am not a government official. I cannot personally go up to the president or someone with power like that and voice my opinion, but I plan on starting here. My opinion and my story matters. 
So does Jamie's and the other 16 victims. How is it that in the state of Pennsylvania, most teenagers at the end of 14 and 15 are waiting to get their license? 16, they finally get some freedom. 17, they can drive wherever and whomever they would like. And at 18, they can buy a gun? Something does not add up here. Two years before, you can barely drive a car and all of a sudden, you can now hold a gun. That doesn't make sense to me. People that claim they want a gun for personal safety need to know what they're getting themselves into. It is not just going to the store to buy something, no. Now you are holding something in your hands that can determine life versus death. My point of writing this was not to focus my opinions on gun safety, but to give the perspective of someone who has experienced personal effects from this mass shooting. I could not even begin to imagine what it would have been like to be one of those students, and honestly, I do not want to. It is scary stuff that is happening in the world we live in, and something needs to change. I am 15. I live with my mom in our little house in the suburbs. I wake up and I go to school. I complain that my backpack is too heavy, that my hair is too frizzy, that my jeans are too uncomfortable. And I have the capability of voicing my opinion in this way. Please do everything in your power to make yourselves heard and don't let anyone or anything hold you back.